Anyway, you guys having a good time? Fuck yeah, yeah well, continue to keep those good times rolling on with your next comment. Dave Brod! Thank you, sir, for the great music. I appreciate that. Why'd you choose that song? I'm just wondering. Cool, 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 cool. There'll be no Jew hate tonight. You don't have to worry about uh, any Jewish jokes. Uh, but I will talk about the Europeans. It's all right. Uh, how y'all feeling now? Y'all good? You good? She left you? She left you? Where'd she go, bro? That was, okay. <laughs> I think that's her catching the bus, right? <laughs> I don't think taking them to a uh, comedy show uh, and a bar gets you the pussy at the end of the night. I don't know. But if it does, let me know. You know? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? We back. We fucking back. Got another video, another vlog. Got a show tonight. I'm actually running a little late. But got a show tonight. Butch McGuire show. Uh, downtown in the Gold Coast. My man's VA hooking me up with a spot. I'm just working out before the show on my birthday. Make sure you get your tickets. Your tickets. So I'm just working out, man, trying to get this material down. I'm gonna have a good time. Let's go. Let's have a uh, let's have a quick chat, right? Let's have a quick chat about discipline. God. Hello. Yeah. It's like soon as you're trying to do something. Everybody needs you, right? Your phone just get to ringing and shit. But I wanted to have a conversation about discipline and what discipline really is and, and how hard it is. It's not easy to be disciplined. It's not easy to stay disciplined. And so I got a show tonight. I ain't been up in about two weeks. I've been sick as hell. I got real sick. I had to go to the hospital. Didn't want to go there. I had to stay there for a minute. I'm okay now, I'm recovering, but I'm okay now. Uh, had to go to the hospital, didn't want to do that. I got the show coming up. A dead full-time dad, you know what I'm saying? Like, taking care of the house. It's rough, tired, very tired. Uh, but, look, this is the shit that we asked for, right? This is the life that, that, that we asked for, we pray for, so hey, you know, I want to have shows all days of the week. Because it is the life that we ask for. When you first start, like, man, nobody booking me. I ain't getting no shows now. I just, you know, just put a word out that I want to get on some shows. And people hit me up and book me for shows. Like, I'm blessed and I'm grateful. But I'm tired. My damn car breaking down. Just got it from the shop today. Like, oh, yeah, it's going to be about 1300 1300 What? I this much. <laughs> you uh, you can keep it. <laughs> I don't want it that bad. But now that leaves us with one car. Kind of. Rough, rough, rough. But the discipline comes in, right? All of this going on. Hospital, bills, rent, birthday, comedy show, special, health, all of that. And here I am still finna go do a show at a bar. I don't grateful for it, but it's at a bar downtown. You know, it might be 10 people in there. <laughs> it might be 10 people in the whole damn room, but that's where the discipline comes in, right? You still gotta get up and fulfill your, your, your obligation and what you say and what God say your purpose is. Me, I feel and I know that my purpose is bringing people uh, joy and laughter. It's, it comes the easiest to me. So I have to continue to fulfill that worldly obligation, you know. And if it, if last week showed me anything, that shit could be taken away in a heartbeat. That shit could be taken away in a heartbeat. I was worried. Like I'm like, yo, like, am I gonna be okay? Like, not even thinking about comedy really, but just like, man, like, I have a family to take care of, you know. That took precedent to 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 everything. Uh, but like I said, in any instant. All that shit could be taken away. You know, like, you don't know when your time is up. So, you have to fulfill your obligations in this world and in this life. Because uh, any second, God can be like, hey, bro, well, 
you ain't using it, so <laughs> you ain't using it. So let's let me give it to somebody who actually gonna use it. You know, I have a uh, I had a, a idea, and I was talking about it, and I'll post about it later. Uh, but about how ideas uh, come from God, right? People, you hear people all the time talking about like, man, uh, you know, God was talking to me. God was talking to me. I always feel like. I've never really had like a word for word conversation, but God talks to me through ideas. God talks to me through ideas. I just happen to be the vessel in that moment to to make that idea come to fruition. Right. It could have been anybody, but God gave it to me. Right. And who the fuck am I? Part of my language. Who am I not to fulfill it? You know, like where, what, 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 why would I continue to give you these ideas if you're not going to use it, right? You got to be reliable. We expect God to be reliable. We expect people to be reliable to us. But a lot of times we're not reliable to ourselves. That's where the discipline comes in. That's you being reliable to yourself and to your program, to your mission, to your system, whatever that is. You don't want to go to the gym today. I get it. But how dare you take a month off from the gym? <laughs> what? You said you was going six days a week. That's what you said. All right, hey, look. You know what I mean? That's that was the idea that came in your head, and you was like, "All right, I'm gonna do that." And then something happened. You missed a day. Then it was two. Then it was three. Why would I continue to give you these ideas if you're not gonna fulfill them? You know what I mean? It was just a little different. I think you missed that part. Uh, Nah, man, it's been a rough, uh, it's been a rough, it's Monday, but it's been a rough week, uh, I was in a, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, uh, like I'm in a bar with you guys, so I guess, I guess our weeks are kind of starting off the same, okay? Don't judge me, shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Well, man, show went well. It's great. Got a headache. That's the shit I was talking about as far as discipline, man. Like, headache, don't feel well, a lot of shit going on. Didn't really feel like getting on stage, but I haven't been up in a while, so you gotta take advantage of these opportunities that God give you, because if you don't use them, you keep giving somebody else, you know what I mean? And then you be complaining, why I ain't getting this? Why I ain't getting that? You're not even taking advantage of the spots you're getting. So why would he keep giving you more stuff, man? Get the fuck up out of here. Go in the Gold Coast, huh? I'm, I'm pretty safe. I'm safe. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm good, man. I'm gonna take my ass home. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Stay tuned for the next vlog, man. Next show coming up. We just vlogging all this shit, man. Vlogging all this shit. Y'all be cool. <laughs>